Hello, future scientists! You know about living and non-living things and can identify the ways of sorting living things into groups. You can also describe never alive and once alive things. Now, apply what you have learned and complete this worksheet. Living things, things that are alive. What are the examples? Humans, just like us, plants, and animals. Now, question number one. Write the things that all living things can do. So think about the characteristics of living things. You will write down here, living things can move, reproduce, crawl, respire or breathe, and can sense things. Now look at these things below. Sort them into two groups. Write the name of living and non-living thing in the correct group. A tree is a living thing and so is the fish. This pie will go to this group, non-living, as well as the book, snowman, and the backpack. Frog is a living thing, even this kid. This ball is a non-living thing, okay? And the plant is a living thing. Tree, fish, frog, kid, and plant are all living things because they move, breathe, grow, and reproduce. In this group, non-living things... You have pie, book, snowman, backpack, and ball. They cannot move, breathe, grow, and reproduce. That is why they are non-living things. Number two, look for things that are living and non-living things. Write the names below. For living, I will write a dog. Because a dog can move, can breathe, can grow, and reproduce. And my laptop is a non-living thing because it cannot do those things that I've mentioned for the characteristics of living things. How about you? Just look around you and you will see lots of different things. Things that are not alive. For question one, we know that some things are alive. Other things were once living but are no longer alive. This furniture is not alive but it is made from wood. The wood was once a living tree. Rocks and metals have never been alive. Now, draw and label five things in each group. Group 1, once alive. And group 2, never alive. For once alive, remember once living things are objects that used to be alive but now are not. Examples are table, chair, pencil, feather, dry leaves. Never alive because they don't need food water, and air to survive. These are some examples. Car, bottle, kettle, okay? plate, spoon, and fork. You can think of other things just all the time. Look around you inside and outside your house and you will find lots of things that are never alive from your living room to your bedroom to kitchen and other parts of your house. We all know that animals and plants are living things. They live in different places in the world. The environment is everywhere where animals and plants prefer to grow and make new plants and animals. Let's answer question number one. Where does each animal and plant live? Write the name of the environment in this line. Use these keywords. Desert, rainforest, woodland, Antarctic. Tropical rainforests are home to many kinds of birds, including this toucan. And some migratory birds live in rainforests during the winter and return to cooler regions during the spring and summer. A polar bear inhabits Arctic or Antarctic sea ice. Okay, so their habitat is sea ice, the Antarctic. Hedgehog, this animal is a good climber and homes are usually burrows and nests they build themselves. The main thing that a hedgehog environment needs is shrubbery, grasses, so they live in woodland because they require well-drained soil environments along with areas for nesting also. A cactus has special adaptations in its roots, leaves, as well as stems that enable it to thrive in desert environments. Okay, now let's talk about habitat. We will draw a line to match each animal with its correct habitat. Remember, habitat is a place where plants and animals live. The first one has been done for you. A mercat lives in burrow. How about this bird? Okay, it lives in a tree because it is very good for their nesting place. At the same time, this is where they can hide from predators and inclement weather. Crabs are very old creatures. They can live in just about any body of water. 
including salt water and fresh water. So draw a line here. Many spiders will build what? Okay, webs to catch prey. But there are lots of spiders who prefer to hunt and they use their webs for other things because all spiders are born to spin. Actually, anywhere can be home. Spider habitats range from deserts to rainforests to backyards and everything in between. There are spiders that float on the water, such as fishing spiders, those that live under the water, okay? So these are the diving bell spiders and even spiders that live as parasites on the webs of other spiders. Now, where does a rabbit live? Actually, most rabbits don't dig tunnels or burrows, but they will borrow a burrow abandoned by another animal. They will use these burrows to escape bad weather or to protect themselves from their enemies or the bigger animals. Now, you have completed your worksheet. Explore, discover, and apply what you have learned in this week's lesson about living things in their environment. Future scientists, thank you and well done.